Hello, my name is Colin Dodds, and I am here to talk to you about Forget This Good Thing I Just Said. It has been nominated for the Big Other Book Prize for Fiction, and um, tell you a little bit about the book. It is a collection of aphorisms, and <clears throat> in addition to being a book, it is also an app for iPhone, which uh, pairs all the aphorisms in the book, there are roughly 800 of them, and runs them through a random number generator that draws on the atmospheric conditions around you, as well as the heat conditions of your phone, to give you a different reading experience each time. And so I was going to flip through the book because it's a, you know, it's a handsome volume, as you can see, the glare notwithstanding. Um, <clears throat> but instead I decided what I would do is I would take a little bit of my own medicine and I would read to you from the aphorism itself. And I would use the random num number generator to decide what sections I would read to you from. So without further ado, here is, forget this good thing I just said, as being read through the app, which uses the random number generator. So here we go. Let's see what I did. Ah. Don't forget cherubs and sparibs, bagel stores and dinosaurs. The glittering skyline is made of failure and dirt. The baby looks around more hungry than impressed. Depends on whether or not I see my shadow. Hate that guy. I was a grown-up then, handling diapers and automobiles, driving through the longest tunnel from the hospital to our home in the shadow of the biggest bridge. Pretty for strangers, clean and simple, so they could draw your face with just two or three lines. The final prayer is not a vision of adamantine completeness to shatter the skulls of porridge in different peers but for a clue to console my ultimate failure. When you suspect that what you love is ultimately nothing, you start playing footsie with nothing's foxy cousin, death. No one can teach you what you actually need to know, how to be hit in the face and have it not matter. Under pressure with no plan, so comes God or disaster in famously unequal measure. That last one seems to come up a lot. And um, you, these little trends, they start to hit you when you, you play with the app for a while. Is that there are certain things that seem to be more prominent in the random number generated reality that you're experiencing in the book. Um, so if, if you do have an iPhone, I'd recommend it. It's, uh, it's free for now. I read Bible stories to your sister at night. She liked how all the stories knew each other. And I said, yes, they knew us too. The receptionist said the messenger had nice teeth. For us, this was reason to be afraid, but the elders saw it for the weakness it was. One of the great curses laid upon humanity is the abject inability to tell a blessing from a curse. How we conspire in the everlasting fire. The man who will give you an enemy implacable enough to protect you from yourself is the best friend you ever had. They buried him before things could get any worse. After everything, people still wave at boats. Pointless is the land. Pointless is the child. People who speak of the soul are too often trying to win an argument they don't want to admit they're in. Every shark feels a sensation adjacent to pain when the fin emerges from the water. The story that makes the entire continent of reality into an obstacle 
it presses through every friend. There's a fire. Everyone crowds the door to matter. It's so insane what makes up the best days of our lives. The capillaries of unending punishment flow through time, invisible until it's too late. 500 portents, each one a helicopter saying, watch your step. There's no such thing as life, Mom, I hear from a passing phone conversation. Why is absolutely everything still under consideration? I thought it was late. So those were a few of the aphorisms um, from, forget this good thing I just said, I believe it's a lot of fun to do on the phone, but it's also great just to flip through the book and kind of, you'll see they're all very, uh, can you see they're all very short, so you can kind of flip through and just see what happens to you that way. There's a, there's a lot of ways that chance can, can enter your life every day. Um, you can find out more about the book, about how the technology works, about some of the thinking behind why a book of aphorisms um, made a lot of sense to me as a writer and as, a, as an artist at this particular time, as well as the philosophy behind why comparing, combining those aphorisms with technology was, uh, I, th I thought, a, a fruitful conjunction um, at uh, forgetthisgoodthing.com. Uh, um, and thank you so much. Thank you to Big Other. It's a gigantic honor. Um, and I hope you'll check out the book. And uh, have a great day.